When it comes to a well-made local beer, there is plenty of it brewing in the Greenville area. Our friend, our life correspondent, Sam Slaughter, researches this stuff all year and is highlighting for us a few great breweries. Welcome yes. and cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, from beer connoisseurs to those with just the casual appreciation of ale, local breweries cater to everybody. What do you love about the brewery scene? It has grown a lot uh, in the last few years, especially. Um, I mean, I've been here in town for about seven years, and mm -hmm. in that time, it's it is a completely different beast than it was when I first moved here. And so the that evolution, the growing, is opening up just all different new avenues and new beers and all that kind of stuff. And whatever kind of brewery it is you seek, it exists yeah, yeah, somewhere in our much. area. Um, at Grape and Grains Shoeless Brewing on Malden Road in Greenville, you said they offer a really unique experience. You can submit your own recipe, I saw that. Yeah, so this is, uh, it's a combination homebrew store and brewery. Uh, they do all of their own brewing there as well. Um, they are the smallest brewery in Greenville. Um, uh -huh. They're brewing on the smallest system. And you do have the opportunity to take classes there. Uh, they do, you know, you can submit a recipe. Uh, they do a lot of, you know, hands-on stuff. And then you can go in, you know, and sit there and drink some stuff that you, you know, help make or got Very to cool. watch being made. Or they, make a, they make a certain small batch up for you. It's kind of like when you dreamed up this pickle ale that yes. you made for Carolina yes. Byron House. You have the ability to do that because you got the resources in that place. But yes. somebody at home might have a wild idea too and they can yeah. make it happen. And they do they do one-on-one uh, -on -one home brewing classes. They do one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. wine making classes. So if wine is more your thing, you can figure out how to make it on your own at home. Very and cool. So, and then if you get the bug, you can just go back there and get all the supplies and ingredients. I again. like it when breweries don't forget about the wine drinkers yeah. in, the, in the crowd. Well, at Magnetic South Brewery Judson Mill, they do promote craft beer, Good food and good times, yeah. right on all counts. Yeah, right over in Judson Mill. Uh, this is their second location, so their their original one's over in Easley, mm -hmm. just down the the road from the other Carolina Bowen House. So they're sort of like our I don't know Anderson cousins. I, I don't know how you want to put that. <laughs> but this is uh, over in Judson Mill. It's a gigantic space. They've got some games in there. You can see. Uh, oh, fun. So even if you if you've got your kids with you, you can give them some quarters and tell them to go play some games. Uh, they've got a food menu with some tacos and burritos and stuff. And then uh, there's also all that other stuff that's opening in in Judson Mill. There's the the axe throwing. There's uh, Block Haven, the the climbing, the, the foundries mm -hmm. right there. So you can go before a concert or go before a wedding since it's a wedding venue as well. I yeah. did that recently. I bet. Well, it just gives you something fun to do. It's an activity yeah. there instead of just being at a place. There are games yeah. to play. And you talk about how family friendly breweries have become. You know, seeing that game room, it's a reminder that. You know, people with families don't have a much easier place to hang out than a brewery with all that wide open space. Yeah, uh, oh. having that kind of entertainment is always yep. is always a plus. It helps. And then Tetrad Brewing Company is on Stone Avenue. It's the lower level of Half Moon Outfitters building. What are they doing there? Uh, so they just celebrated their four year anniversary. That was last weekend. So they had, I think it was four days of just different celebrations and stuff. But mm -hmm. if you're looking for a solid place to go to get a uh, uh, a variety of beers. They've got a couple on tap that are their their brew club collaborations, and so they're doing some interesting stuff with that because you know people who aren't employed there can help contribute to what's going on. Um, they've got enough space outside. They've got the patio where they, they'll do live music, and then sometimes they've even got uh, like a food truck in there, food truck sort of parked near there. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's right right outside of downtown. So if you want to be able to find parking mm -hmm. and get a beer, uh, Yeah, you, that's it's a much easier spot to do that. Yeah, one of the great benefits of hanging out there. And you know, we talk about the different breweries in our area. You'd done some breweries a while back on a segment like this. You could really keep going and going because these places are social hubs and there's so many of them and so many different styles of them. Yeah, when, we, when I was going through preparing for this one, I think throughout all of our other segments, we've now uh, talked about every brewery in Greenville. So Spartanburg, we're coming for you next. All right, we'll cover them all. And yeah, different reasons to talk about all these guys. They have a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, later on, you're going to make a beverage for us. Is that the case? Yes, normally when we're making these beverages, they're more, I would say, like afternoon or evening okay. fitting beverages. This is going to be a breakfast martini. A we're we're going to embrace martini. the fact that it'll be 1040 a.m. or so. Well, you know, there's been a lot of love of brunch lately. Yeah. And, and I guess the idea is uh, the, the breakfast martini then. Yes, yes. This is a classy breakfast martini. Okay, I'm interested to see what you come up with. And then we'll have trending stories. Of course. Hang around with us a little bit while. Uh, thank you so much for serving as brewery correspondent with us, Sam. Sam, of course, is the author of Are You Afraid of the Dark Rum? 
and other cocktails for 90s kids. You can visit his website or follow him on social media for more. And in the last couple seconds, I know that you've got a uh, huge weekend ahead. We're talking about all yeah. these festivals and crazy so things. So if you are in the Columbia area or if yeah. you really like whiskey, the Great American Whiskey Fair is happening tonight in Columbia at uh, 701 Whaley's, the, the venue. But 300 different whiskeys. It's the biggest whiskey festival in South Carolina, and I think in the Southeast. Okay. Um, and then if you, if you get your whiskey, we followed up on Sunday at Carolina Baron House with the Pickle Fest, the Piedmont Pickle Festival. Um, we're going to have the pickle hard seltzer that we made. There will be pickle contests, pickle eating, pickle ball. If you can put oh, uh, anything after the word okay. pickle, it'll be there. All right. Looking forward to, to your recap on that. Yeah. It'll be good.